FBW series multifunction fluid bed granulator adopts PLC control. It's mechanical, electrical, and pneumatic integrated equipment. It is essential in solid dosage processes and suitable for mixing, granulating, drying, coating, and palletizing in pharmaceutical, food, and chemical industries. It optimizes production processes, reduces labor works, and controls cross contamination. It complies entirely with GMP and FDA requirements. One, drying and granulating. When working, slow in the expansion chamber, push into the material ball, start the control system. The lower chamber is raised, and the chambers are sealed. The machine runs according to the preset program. Taking air is guided into the fluid bed lower chamber through primary filter, medium filter, heat exchanger, and HEPA filter. The material is then blown up and realized fluidization. Inlet air temperature is adjusted by PID regulating valve by controlling hot and cold air proportion. The binder is transferred to the spray gun driven by the peristaltic pump and is sprayed into the chamber by compressed air. Under the effect of the binder, materials agglomerate, and after drying, plain granules are increasing into granules as desired. Inside the chamber, double back filters are designed. They shake in turn and work continuously as PLC assigned program to avoid blocking. The exhausted fan sucks out the air inside of the chambers through the exhausted pipe and the silencer. And is vented out towards the facility exhausting unit. Upon drying finishing, system stops, pull out material ball, and slow away the expansion chamber. Two, bottom spraying for coating. When coating, slow in its expansion chamber, push into the material ball. The lower chamber is raised, and chambers are sealed. The machine runs according to preset program. Taking air is guided into the fluid bed lower chamber through primary filter, medium filter, heat exchanger, and HEPA filter. The material is then blown up and realized fluidization. Inlet air temperature is adjusted by PID regulating valve by controlling hot and cold air proportion. The guide in air passes through coating tubes on the air distributor plate. The granules are fluidized into fountain-like movement. The coating solution is transferred to the spraying gun driven by the peristaltic pump and is sprayed into the coating tube by compressed air. The atomized coating solution runs in the same direction with granules, and the granules are coated inside the coating tube. After coating, granules blow up from the coating tube into the expansion chamber. Air speed lowers down rapidly. Coated granules fall in the area between air fluid bed wall and draft tube. The whole coating process is recycled. Inside the chamber, double back filters are designed. They shake in turn and work continuously as PLC assigned program to avoid blocking. The exhausted fan sucks out the air inside of the chamber through the exhausted pipe and the silencer, and is vented out towards the facility exhausting unit. Upon coating finishing, system stops. Pull out material ball. Slow away the expansion chamber. Three, side spray for palletizing. When side spray for palletizing, slew in its expansion chamber, push into the material ball. The lower chamber is raised, and the chambers are sealed. The machine runs according to preset program. Taking air is guided into fluid bed lower chamber through primary filter, medium filter, heat exchanger, and HEPA filter. The material then blows up. The gap between turbo plate in the material ball and the chamber wall is adjustable. Under the force of gravity, centrifugal force, and air flow, the material is driven into the circular spiral movement. Inlet air temperature is adjusted by PID regulating valve by controlling hot and cold air proportion. The binder is transferred to the spray gun driven by the peristaltic pump and is sprayed into the fluid bed by compressed air. The spray gun is positioned inside of the material layers and can reach the material surface in a short distance. The binder is then tightly adhered to and covered on the material surface. The pellet is then gradually formed. 
Inside the chamber, double back filters are designed. They shake in turn and work continuously as PLC are signed program to avoid blocking. The exhaust fan sucks up the air inside of the chamber through the exhaust pipe and the silencer, and is vented out toward the facility exhausting unit. Upon side spray palletizing finishing, system stops, pull out material ball, slew away the expansion chamber.